This is Frank Sullivan, mad scientist, coming from my living room slash laboratory. Okay, I decided to uh, make a video on how to build a Stan Myers quenching tube. A friend of mine asked me, and I said, okay, I'll do it. So, first things first. You gotta get the tubing. The tubing you can get at Cole Palmer. Uh, P O P O M R E R. Um, now the ID for a Stan Myers tube is anywhere from 0.010 to 0.015. I just happen to get the in between 0.012. And it works good. Now here it is in 100 roll segments, and it's pretty nice stuff to work with. However, when you cut it, you got to be very careful. You got to have a really sharp blade. Otherwise, you can smash the ends in and it's not as effective. So, I put a little mark here on the board and I simply put it across, chop them down so they're all even. Once I do that, I get them all together and I put them in a bundle and I wrap it with thread all the way around making a real nice tight round bundle. Once I do that from there I got this tubing and I shove it in as you can see there it's all wrapped in and I put glue on it so whenever it sets in there it sets in there and it's not moving anywhere. The tubing is simple tubing. This is all it is and it is uh, one quarter uh, ID and 3 8 OD type tubing. Now there's two different types. There's the clear type or I bought the special yellow type because it's exactly like Stan Myers had made. So that's how you build these and um, to be um, careful on making them once you glue those in you have to really get up close and personal. I'm not sure if you can see that but right around the edges here I glued it. That way there's no chance of anything coming in and around the sides. It has to go through the tubing itself. This is really fine. Well, there's no way you're going to see that unless you put it underneath a magnifying glass. So I hope that helps with people that want to build these and they do work really well. Uh, I've tested them several times and they work great. Also, just to mention, uh, the original Stan Myers quenching tube has 30 holes in them. So you have to get 30 of these pieces cut, which make 30 holes, and then, then you can wrap it with the uh, thread. Now, once you got your 30 tubes in a bundle, and you put them in the tubes, it's not going to be exactly perfect. It's amazing how you can try, but there will be you know larger ones and out further, and that's okay. Make them a little bit longer. Once you're done and it's glued in place, I cut them off all even in one shot, and uh, that works pretty good and makes a nice smooth finish. Okay, last but not least, whenever you go for this tubing. There's a little thing about it. Um, the company is funny about selling to normal people. So you got to have a business. Fortunately, I actually have a home business and I was able to get it. If you're trying to buy it and you don't have a business, they probably won't sell to you. So that's just my little word of advice for you to be able to purchase this.